Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Michelle Livet at Barack for dropping dollar 65 mil deal in panic after Trump blindsided him with nasty surprise. Barack Hussein and Michelle Obama both signed a $65 million dollar contract last year agreeing to write their memoirs about their eight disastrous years in the White House. But so far, only Michelle Obama has finished her memoir, which is coined becoming Michelle, leaving people asking where Barack's book is. But what's even more interesting about all this is that because of this Michelle's furious with the former president because the contract stipulates this deal is for both memoirs. So if he doesn't come up with his half of the deal it would, in turn, break the multi-million dollar deal. Back in March 2017, Vanity Fair reported on this deal. Though Obama reportedly plans to write his memoir on an island in the sun, Michelle Obama will stay in Washington, D.C., while she pens her own book. The Obamas, who made the choice to remain in the area while their younger daughter, Sasha, finishes high school, are renting a home in the neighborhood of Calarama. She's got one daughter to get off to college, another is a, sophomore, in high school. All of that comes first, Tina Chen, Obama's White House chief of staff, told The Post. Now she will also be working on the book and still keeping up her engagement with the community as she always has. We all know President Obama doesn't have the work ethic and energy of Trump. The man coasted into everything because of his skin color and the fact that he knows how to read a speech well. But rumor has it the memoir is nowhere to be found because of another reason altogether. He is terrified of the Spygate fiasco he and Valerie Jarrett may have been responsible for. Here is more on this via American Thinker. Unless we assume the FBI went completely rogue, it is inconceivable that the deployments of personnel to spy on the Trump campaign and make provocative contact with its lesser members could have occurred without the full knowledge and control of the occupants of the Oval Office. Obama may claim a scandal-free administration, but after Fast and Furious, the targeting of the Tea Party by the IRS, the Benghazi cover-up, Hillary's emails, to name a few, Spygate is just the latest. I use the plural occupants because while Barack Hussein Obama may have been nominally the President of the United States, at the heart of every one of these scandals and virtually every administration move was Valerie Jarrett, who arguably could be considered our first female president. Jarrett, born in Iran to American parents, has been with the Obamas since her days as Deputy Chief of Staff in the office of Chicago Mayor Richard Daley, the younger. She hired Michelle Obama, then Michelle Robinson, to fill an opening in the mayor's office. As WikiLeaks describes the beginning of a long relationship, citations omitted. In 1991, as Deputy Chief of Staff to Mayor Richard Daley, Jared interviewed Michelle Robinson for an opening in the mayor's office, after which she immediately offered Robinson the job. Michelle Robinson asked for time to think and also asked Jared to meet Robinson's fiancé, Barack Obama. The three ended up meeting for dinner. After the dinner, Michelle took the job with the mayor's office, and Valerie Jarrett reportedly took the couple under her wing and introduced them to a wealthier and better connected Chicago than their own. Jarrett later took Michelle with her when Jarrett left the mayor's office to head Chicago's Department of Planning and Development. The rest, as they say, is history. Not only did Valerie Jarrett become a mentor to the young Barack Obama, but she soon became what some have called Obama's Rasputin, someone who had more security than our personnel did in Benghazi. She receives more protection than our Libyan ambassador, calls the president by his first name, dines and vacations with the first family and had the power to call off three strikes against Osama bin Laden. Ambassador Chris Stevens did not have a marine detail in Benghazi, Libya. But White House senior adviser and Obama confidant Valerie Jarrett reportedly had a full Secret Service detail on vacation in Martha's Vineyard. Jarrett seems to have a 24-hour, around-the-clock detail, with five or six agents full-time, Democratic pollster Pat Cadell said in an interview recently with Breitbart News. If Stevens had a similar escort, he'd probably be alive today. Such protection isn't usually available to senior advisors, but Jared is no ordinary advisor. We know perfectly well this won't end well for Obama, Comey, Hillary, Jared or Mueller, who have all been corrupted. Just think, what was supposed to be the most transparent administration in history allegedly managed to get the FBI to spy on a private citizen because of a fake Russian dossier the Democrat Party and Hillary Clinton paid for. These people better all hide, and hide fast, because once the things start coming out not even their lackeys in the mainstream media won't be able to stop the flow of damning information. Information which would have never seen the light of day if anyone other than President Donald Trump would have won the 2016 president election. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click 
like, and subscribe. Thank you.